Hello, people, and uh, colleagues, and friends, and everybody involved. I'm very excited tonight. Tonight I'm doing um, something I've had before. Uh, it's called Culver's. Um, they're a restaurant here in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm, I'm very giddy. I'm, I'm, I'm giddy like a little schoolgirl, actually. You know, it's Christmas time. I thought I'd do something I like here in Wisconsin that I've had before and trust and actually love. Never heard of Culver's before I moved up here, um, but they... Um, Everything's kind of, it's based in Wisconsin, um, it, it was founded here, everything's fresh, never frozen, except for their custard, it's kind of a, like a, their menu's huge, everything about this restaurant, it, it doesn't act like a fast food restaurant, but it is, you know, you go up to the drive through you pay, you know, you order something first, obviously, you go to the window, you pay, uh, and then... You, oh, I don't even know if I said it. This is Uncle Carl. This is your spiciest and spiciest and dearest and humblest of uncles. I'm just really excited. I'm moving really fast tonight. Anyway, so about the fat, you know, the drive-through. You, you go, you order at the intercom. You go up to the window, you pay, and you take a number and you go park a, you know, a little distance away, and they bring it out to you. It's all fresh. Their beef is never frozen. Everything's prepared kind of plain, actually, at least their burgers. And you add a topping, so it's nothing comes standard on the burgers. So tonight, what I got was their butter burger. And by butter burger, it doesn't mean that it's like a, you know, fried in butter or anything like that. It just means the bun is lightly buttered. So, uh, just like a lot of restaurants do, it's just, they call it a butter burger and people think that, you know, for some reason it's uh, fried in butter or drenched in butter. I have no idea. Anyway, this is the uh, Cheddar Double Bacon Butter Burger. It cost me $4.95 after tax, uh, $4.69 pre-tax. Uh, they gave me some napkins, which was great. Comes in this nice little box. And let's, I'm really, the smells of this thing are just phenomenal. I'm, I'm ready for this. Ooh. Now that is just, that is just pretty. And this is not just American cheese pretending to be. Let me pick it up. This is actually real cheddar cheese. You know, this is actual cheddar cheese, not American cheese, you know, pretending to be, um, you know, cheddar cheese. This is real Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Look at that bacon over there, two slices here. I'm gonna try this out. I've really been looking for I deserve this, actually. It's Christmas time. Hmm. This is just a fantastic burger. You know, first and foremost, I didn't get anything on it because I kind of wanted to take it as it's prepared. Evan Williams again. Take it as prepared. And, um, golly. You can taste the high quality in the meat, seasoned perfectly. The cheddar, as I mentioned, is real cheddar. The bacon's just crispy enough, but not, you know, overly crispy. You know, condiments, could they go in here? Sure. Could have added lettuce, you know, and a couple of onions, sure. You know, but, but this doesn't need it. You know, it doesn't need mayonnaise. It doesn't need ketchup. It's, it's that good, in my opinion. Um... Even their, their little slogan says, welcome to delicious. You know, I mean, that is exactly what it is. Culver's is delicious. They have, you know, frozen ice cream. Actually, it's custard, uh, which is a little bit thicker. Not as, I actually don't like it as much as, you know, let's say like Dairy Queen ice cream. The menu's huge. Everything about Culver's is just really high quality. It screams quality. And it's actually somewhat affordable compared to even like your mainstay, you know, fast food restaurants. You know, this was under five bucks, but... If you remember the Wendy's review that I did, I got, you know, a chicken sandwich, albeit, you know, it's chicken versus beef, but, all, you know, it, it was more than $5. And I've had plenty of burgers that are over $5 that 
don't even come close to this. So, you know, this is just great. Mmm. Absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Now, again, uh, I'm a little bit more biased towards this, but I came, you know, when I when I first had Culver's, I was unbiased, and it was just that good. And um, you know, I just um, when I think of it, you know, you can taste the freshness all throughout. As I said, I mean, I imagine this this burger you know, embodies Wisconsin as a state. There's Wisconsin cheese. I'm sure these, the beef is, is Midwestern raised, probably Wisconsin beef. And I just see in my, my head a, a farmer tolling, you know, like milking the cows and then killing the cow and then making the meat. And then with that milk, they make cheese. And then, um, and, and then their ice cream and, and just, this, this just screams Wisconsin. Uh, bacon, I don't know, we're a big, pork producing state here but golly just very good I, I gotta finish this up I, I'm running long I'm just rambling right now about you know how um, how good this is but it is it's very good I mean Culver's isn't everywhere I'm sure it's a Midwest thing maybe upper south um, you know I heard they had a couple in Florida so said my producer but um, you know uh, other than that it, it's just a great great place great burger Fairly inexpensive, too. I don't know if it uh, varies per location, but it probably does since it's a franchise. But regardless, if you want something delicious and very fresh, go to Culver's. I recommend it highly. I hate to do this, um, but I'm going to give this into the nines. This is going to be my first nine I think I've ever given on Spicy Carl Assessment. And I'm going to give this a 9.15. Um, you know, this is, uh, it's just good. It's very good. I don't, you know, I, I don't think it deserves a 10. I think there's better burgers out there. Um, but 9.15 is, is a great rating for me. So anyway, God bless. Sorry, I was all kind of over the place, uh, this video, but I mean, I, this is, this is how excited I was getting. I deserve this. I needed this. God bless. We'll see you next time.